Remember Jurassic Park? Those guys were so silly. If they wanted to see dinosaurs, just go outside. They're birds now. Hey Raptors, Trace here for D News. Dinosaurs are a constant fascination to humans all over the planet. 150 million years ago, birds were giant animals roaming free across the planet until 65 million years ago when that big asteroid hit, causing a massive extinction across the entirety of Earth. Obviously, our ancient mammalian ancestors were able to survive, as were many other animals, mostly by burrowing into the ground or hiding in the water to escape the initial heat, and then surviving on smaller prey during the ensuing years of cold. The big fellas like like Diplodocus or Diplodocus would never have survived. They couldn't seek shelter and they needed far too much food. But according to research published in the journal Science, some dinosaurs did survive, the smaller ones. Scientists at the University of Adelaide analyzed the skeletal characteristics of 1,500 dinosaurs over 50 million years and found theropods, a carnivorous dinosaur family which included the Tyrannosaurus, got smaller and smaller over that time. In fact, they got smaller in 12 separate mutations, going from 163 kilos on average to the 0.8 kilo Archaeopteryx, the first bird. Because they kept getting smaller and because they ate meat rather than plant life, they were able to survive the asteroid strike and ensuing extinction. The reason meat eaters survived was because they didn't require as large a body as plant eaters. They have to digest all that cellulose. Less body means less to take care of, which means survival. Yay! Separate research also published in Science last month theorizes that all dinosaurs had feathers. Some were more primitive, like hairs or bristles, while others were soft and downy, like modern birds. They discovered this when they found a new dinosaur called Caundramomus zabacalicilicus or something, which had feathers but couldn't fly. This, combined with other evidence, is enough to make a theory, but not a final determination on this stuff. Though, taken together, it's pretty easy to see that modern birds are probably just tiny dinosaurs. And the scientists were quoted in the Washington Post saying, without a doubt, that's the case. But why would these dinosaurs get smaller? What would be the purpose of that? Scientists say there would be a distinct advantage. Smaller carnivorous dinosaurs with feathers would be able to climb trees, glide, and maybe even fly, allowing them to hunt prey that differed from their larger carnivorous brethren, also helping them survive extinction. They just knew how to innovate, evolutionarily speaking, Discovery News writer Richard Farrell said. And if you take this to be true, as many paleontologists do today, then instead of being extinct, there are actually 10,000 species of dinosaur living and breathing on our planet still today. Even more than there are mammals or reptiles. Maybe some of you had fried dinosaur for dinner last night or went to fill the dinosaur feeder in your backyard. Or perhaps you have a pet dinosaur in a cage in your house right now. All of those sound pretty freaking cool to me. What do you think? Are you on board with the dinosaur bird changeover? Are you gonna start calling it KFD and eat dinosaur noodle soup when you're sick? Make your own jokes down in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more D News. We post all day on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus too, so make sure you check those out Thanks so much for watching.